Hi there YouTubers, we're back at the sawmill. Gonna try to get that pulley down there and that bushing onto that shaft. There's not too much I can do out here still because it's, as you can see, it's still a mud bog. I haven't cleaned any of that up. It's just been raining and muddy and raining and muddy and when it isn't muddy and raining, it's raining and muddy. So, I haven't done anything, but I got the, I got the pulley try to get this down here I got the, the bushing here it's a I think it was F bushing 214 that fits the pulley down there that I had somewhere I got a key oh had to have a key made I'm hoping that you can see this this is a step key here let me see if I can it's a step key I'll do it this way maybe that won't work too bad so you can see it's kind of like got a T on there. And where the Allen set goes in, we put a little groove in right here. If you ever try to get a keyway out, and when you run that Allen set in there to set the key so it doesn't slide in and out on the shaft, you can take the Allen, Allen key out, or the out set screw out of it, but it leaves such an indentation in it, sometimes you can't get this out. When you put this in, I always found that you wanted to slide in smooth and snug but not tight because it, they seem to grow once you get them in there. In other words, a little bit of rust, a little bit, bit of debris and they're hard to get out. So if it's hard going in, it's going to be even harder getting out. Now what I do, I'll, I'll get away from this a little further. What I do when I have one of these, I take a magic marker and I... I just draw up on here like this on it. Maybe a magic marker has a little more magic in it. But I already did this, so I know it's in pretty good shape because there wasn't any point in uh, watching a whole movie of doing this, I, I didn't think. Anyhow, that's what I do. And then I slide them up in on there and see, see where it fits, see how it fits. And then you can see the high, see this, you can see the high spot under there. So you might want to sand a little bit of there and sand a little bit there, or and you can see the high spot there. So, you know, it, it fits. It fits just the way I want it right now. So next thing I'm gonna do is get some um, anti-seize. Put some anti-seize on it. If anybody doesn't know what anti-season is, I, I, it's just kind of a little bit, keeps stuff from locking up in there. I guess it's a graphite, oil, who knows what mixture is in this thing. But it probably keeps the rust down for a while too, which is probably not a bad idea. So Anna, I anti-seize the heck out of it. It's not going to hit out here at this very end, so it's not necessary to do that. You're not doing this for now, you're doing it for when you ever have to take it off. You know, if you just had to put it on, it'll, it'll, it'll slide on there already. That's not the issue. The issue is when you want to remove it. So I slop this stuff on there pretty good. It's not all that expensive for the headaches it can save you later. Then, let me see which way this thing goes. Oh my goodness, that thing is heavy. I think it goes this way. I think this thing weighs over 100 pounds. Bit much for me. So we'll try to. Oh my goodness, get it up in there. Oh. I sure hope I got it the right way. I think so.
That's not going too bad. I don't see how I'm going to set that Allen set though. I don't see a way to set that Allen set in there once you have this in there personally. If I put it on the other way, I couldn't get it off. Well, that's about it. Put these on. I might have to move the engine in a little more. That's the second one. Yeah, I have to. A little thinking. I'm going to move the engine in further to get these on comfortably. I have to put the bolts in. A little anti seize on those doesn't hurt either. I drove up to Chambersburg and got that bushing to, I think it's TB Woods Company. Really nice people up there, really helpful. Because I didn't know what size bushing I needed. These things all got to be torqued evenly. I think most of the people that are in this kind of nonsense business will know about that. I think I'll spin it around. Until it gets to a a nice area. Just kind of getting it a little tight. I don't. I don't want to over tighten it at this point. Just kind of get it, get it up where it wants to be. Keep moving it around so it centers itself a little bit. See how it's pulling up in there now? But a little bit more than my fingers could do. Yeah, this one here looks like it's easy still. Yeah, it's still sliding in and out good. That's good. I think it's getting there now. Still sliding good. I have a straight edge here I got made for kind of a line in it, but this one's so far away it looks pretty pretty close. Um, 
going to match up perfect anyhow. This is a D, a D pulley and these are C belts. The angles are the same, so the belts are going to sit down in there about an eighth of an inch. But the price of the pulley, I didn't want to have to buy one to try to change the RPMs. The reason I'm changing the RPMs is because I want to put a different saw blade on there. I want to move up to 650 RPMs. I'm going to go ahead and knock this movie out and just work on this because this is just going to be here on out, just slow, moving the engine in, putting the belts on, pulling it back, and uh, start tightening things up at that point. So there's, that's just standard nonsense work. So I'll knock it out for now, come up with some more things, tighten it up a little bit more, and get another movie in a while. Over and out.